and they're off. They race over three miles in the Grade 1 Labrooks Quarto Star Novices Chase, running memory of Nigel Clark. Il est Francais has claimed the early lead. Hermes Allen will try and go with him. There's just a length between them. The other four lining up across the course as they reach the first of 18. And it was Il est Francais. Jumped slightly away to his left over the first, but nothing dramatic. On towards the second, an open ditch. And it is Il est Francais. He stood outside the wings there. Spectacular leap by Il est Francais at fence number two and carries his lead now to a clear two and a half lengths over Ernie Zalon, who now closes up on the flat in second. There's already five lengths back to Kilbeck King, who races on the inside just in third. Giovinco on his outside is in fourth. A further three lengths to the grey marble sands, and the back marker is Titan R Belt as now they head into the back straight. Four fences await them down the back straight, and it's James Reevely and Il est Francais coming towards the first one down the back. And again, he absolutely winged that fence. Saw a stride a mile out, Il est Francais, and he goes down towards fence number four, jumps the path, and now he takes the fourth fence. Il est Francais took it in his stride, clear by two and a half lengths over Hermes Allen over in second. On the inside, Kilbeck King just in third. Giovinco is in fourth. And this is an open ditch. Il est Francais comes to it. Another beautiful jump by he and also by Hermes Allen in second. Not so at the back of the field. Titan at our belts, although not making a mistake, was a little slow in the, air, in the air. They go over the last fence taken down the back straight. That's the first time Il est Francais has just had to put himself right. Didn't see a great stride going into it, but he fiddled his way over it with a plomb. He leads by a length and a half to Hermes Allen racing in second. Now there's five lengths back to the third running Giovinco, who's got three lengths over Kilbeck King. Another four back to, as they take the turn, Marble Sands. And the back marker is Titan at our belts. For the moment, racing a good 15 lengths off the leader, Il est Francais. Into the home straight, on towards fence number seven. Il est Francais, again, jumps it well better than Hermes Allen, who just dived at it a little in second place. And now closing up is Giovinco in third, as they come now up the home straight, on towards fence eight. Il est Francais comes to it, ran down into that fence, leads by two. Hermes Allen over in second, Jevinko in third, Gilbert King in fourth, Marble Sands in fifth, and Titan R Belts. On now towards what will be the last in the circuit's time. Il est Francais, another beautiful jump. In second place, Hermes Allen and the others at long intervals. So they come up past the the circuit to go. And it is Il est Francais and James Reevely by two and a half lengths to Harry Cobden and Hermes Allen in second, four lengths away to Stephen Mulqueen on Giovinco in third place. And then a further six lengths back to Kilbeck King and Sam Twiston Davis. Two and a half to Marble Sands and Brendan Powell. And a further three lengths to Titan at our belts and Tom Bellamy. They've completed their first circuit of the course in the Quarto Star. Now heading on towards fence number 10, Il est Francais coming to this with a lead of a couple of lengths over Hermes Allen, who has always been his nearest pursuer in second. On now towards an open ditch, and one who jumped out violently to the left over that fence was Marble Sands, almost putting himself off the course as they go over that open ditch, and indeed Marble Sands is out of the contest. He has been pulled up before the open ditch, which was fence number 11. So it is Il est Francais who takes him inside the final mile. His lead is three lengths over Hermes Allen in second. Giovinco is in third. Four lengths away, but closing is in fourth place, Kilbeck King, as they now face up towards the first fence taken down the back straight. Il est Francais, he was spectacular at this fence on the previous circuit. His lead is two lengths as he comes towards the seventh from home. Again, he jumps it well, but so too does Hermes Allen in second. In third, Giovinco. In fourth place is Kilbeck King, and uh, then Titan at belts over the six last. Il est Francais over in front, Hermes Allen. A little mistake by Giovinco, just got a little low at that plain fence. And here's an open ditch now, fence number 14, final ditch for Il est Francais. Comes to it, and that's his first significant error. He got that one wrong, but so too Hermes Allen, who had a nibble of the Kempton turf in second, well picked up by Harry Cobden. Il est Francais at the next, and he flew the fourth from home, right across in front of the stands, took the air out of the lungs of the crowd. It was Il est Francais who led by five. Hermes Allen now set 
in pursuit. On the inside is Kilbeck King, given a patient ride and closing. Giovinco and then a long break back to tighten our belts. They're making the turn in. Still motionless, James Reevely on Ile Francais, but now snapping away at his heels. Hermes Allen on the outside of Kilbeck King. There's now only two lengths now back to Hermes Allen in second. Three out, Ile Francais. Now there's only a length and a half between he and Hermes Allen, who set down the challenge, racing down towards the final two fences. And it is Ile Francais who is still in hand. Ile Francais over the second last. His lead opens up to two and a half. Over Hermes Allen in second, Kilbeck King is in third. The others are virtually walking down towards the final fence. Il est Francais comes down towards the last. He flies over it clear. Um, he, in second place, Hermes Allen. Back in third is Kilbeck King. The Labrox Porto star goes to Il est Francais. Il est Francais. Il est magnificent. Il est Francais wins. Hermes Allen in second. And in third, Kilbeck King. James Rivley has won on Ile Francais and uh, well he, he's really backed up what I think you and everyone has been saying coming here. Brilliant performance. Yeah we all had high hopes for this horse and we all thought it would suit him round here but he had to come and confirm it and I was just walking the course earlier and I, and I, was, ha I was glad that we, they didn't bring him last year because it would have been a big ask for a four year old I think. Um, having not run over fences in France, now he's a lot stronger, a lot wiser. It was the right time to bring him over and um, he did it well. Were you worried about the ground? No not at all, I think he pings off that good ground. Um, I was a little bit worried. Harry was fairly close to me early doors when I was thinking I was going quite a good gallop for three miles. Um, my lad, he was just tanking me the whole way and uh, pinging his fences. He just had one little, he got one little bit wrong down the back, but he was clever, to be fair. Would you have had any concern if something had gone off in front of you? No, I, like, I could have gone out there with a plan to take a lead. He would have settled in behind, but I thought, today it's a small runner field. Um, he's happy dominating. And he's got a good cruising speed, so I just, you know, make use of him, and um, that's what he's good at. And he was very extravagant at some of his fences, gorgeous to watch, but at the same time, for, for a sizable animal, pretty clever when he had to. Yeah, like he was really pinging them for the first circuit, and I was thinking, you know, I want to try and get him pop one or two because we can't ping everything, and if he gets tired, he's going to need to get in deep, and he, he is good at getting in deep. And as I say, it was just the last stitch down the back where he got, you know, he, was he touched the boards, and to be fair, he got his feet up and out of the way, and he was very clever. From what I've seen of him in France, you've never, he's never really had to go to the well, if you like, and see what's really under the bonnet. How much did you have to go for today? Well, Harry came to me two out, and I just asked him to lengthen. He didn't quicken, but he lengthened nicely. He had still a bit left in the tank, um, and he, he wasn't fully wound up for today, really. Like, Noel's no, just been kept him uh, ticking over since his last race. Uh, I think there's more to come, a lot more to come. Tired at the finish, or, or as expected for that race, but but not sort of not sort of beyond. If you not really tired, just because of the pace we went. I thought we went a strong pace. I know it was good ground and everything, but he did well to keep it up the whole way. How much personal satisfaction is that? Obviously, given you know you you are now based in France, you, you come back here and and you've won a, a first UK Grade One. I, I'm I'm assuming that gives you a huge amount of satisfaction. Oh, massively! Yeah, it's ticked off the list now. I've, I've had my Grade One in England. <laughs> I've not a winner in England since 2016, so I know. Wow. It's great to come back in front of the big crowd and get all the congratulations. That's great. Where would this rank in sort of a, a, a ability and potential of, of horses you, you have been on in the last decade? Or so? oh, he's, he's potentially the best. Like he has to go out there and prove it. Obviously, I've we won Grand Steeps on other, like so French, he won two Grand Steeps. This lad hasn't won any yet, so he has to go out there and prove it. But for me, he's potentially the, the best. Uh, but I'll be in you know, touch with you, stay in one piece and come and uh, show everyone how good he really is with in years to come. Well done. Thank you very much. Cheers. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.